Today's daily dose of math is about the right prism. You might think of this as just being a box. And yes, boxes are often in the shape of right prisms, also known as rectangular prisms. Here I'm showing the same right prism, but with three different bases. The blue one has the smallest face as the base. The red one has the medium sized face as the base. And the green one has the largest face as the base. Sometimes it doesn't matter which side is the base, but other times it does matter. Let's look at the formulas. The volume is equal to length times width times height. It's a very easy formula to apply, but it's not really necessary because another way of seeing the volume formula is the area of the base times the height. The lateral area is two times the total of the length times the height plus the width times the height. It doesn't include the base or the top, but it includes the other four sides. The total area, of course, includes all six faces. Both of these formulas might also seem unnecessary because you realize that what the formula is getting you to do is find the area of the faces and add those together. And that's something that you can do just using the area of a rectangle formula. Let's look what happens when we apply these formulas to this right prism, but with each of the different choices of base. If we do the volume formula with the smallest side on the bottom, first we are multiplying two times three, which is the area of the base, and we get six. Then we multiply that six by five, which is the height. We get 30 units cubed. But if we take the same right prism and put the medium sized side on the bottom, we're doing two times five and getting 10, and then we're multiplying that 10 by the height three and getting 30, we're getting the same answer. It doesn't matter which of the three possible bases are used as the base. In all three cases, the volume will be 30 units cubed. Now let's look at the total area. If we have the smallest side on the bottom and we do our total area formula, we end up with two times 31 equals 62 units squared. If we have the medium sized side on the bottom, we still end up with two times 31 and 62 units squared. If we put the largest side on the bottom, again, we get two times 31 and 62 units squared. The arrangement of the side lengths two, three, and five is slightly different as we fill in the formula, but the result keeps being the same. What about the lateral area formula though? With the smallest side on the bottom, we end up doing two times 25 and getting 50 units squared. With the medium sized side on the bottom, we have two times 21 for 42 units squared. The lateral area is different this time. With the largest side on the bottom, the lateral area ends up being two times 16, which is 32 units squared. So now we can see that when we apply the lateral area formula, it really matters which of the faces is our base. But when we apply the volume formula or the total area formula, it doesn't matter which face is on the bottom. Make sure you practice all of these formulas with several different right prisms. The right prism is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.